The point I want to make today is one involving uh, Mr. Daniel Morgan, and it's something that's endemic to the state of the police force of enormous uh, importance. Daniel Morgan lived in Tranbrechfer on the edge of my constituency. He was a 37-year-old private investigator, and he was working in London <coughs> on a job to investigate police corruption. He was found dead 27 years ago in a pub car park in South London. His brother, who I spoke to yesterday, has been carrying out a campaign in all these years to expose what happened <coughs> and the reason uh, for the murder that took place. Uh, he is still unhappy and quite rightly so. I'm one of the few backbenchers that has the opportunity of reading a, an amazing document called Operation Tiberius and I commend anyone who has the opportunity to do it. We were allowed to read it, two members of the Home Affairs Committee, with a policeman standing next to us, making sure we weren't taking notes, our cameras and our mobile phones were taken away, so we couldn't see it, and we read it under those very strict conditions. You're not allowed to know what's in Operation Tiberius, and I'm bound by the secrecy uh, vow I gave at the time not to reveal what I read in there but I can reveal what the independent uh, newspaper has said about Operation Tiberius and it's terrifying what they reveal is I'm grateful to my honourable friend. I, I'm certainly far away from being anti-police. I've uh, known every police chief uh, constable in my area since 1972, 43 years. All people of, of integrity, men and women, are of, uh, who achieved great things in the police force, and it's a fine force and has been all that time. And I'm someone who was brought up in the belief that all policemen were like Dixon of Doc Green. And that's why the contents of Operation Tiberius document is so deeply shocking. It tells the story of crimes planned by little units of police, uh, serving police officers of all uh, various ranks and criminals. And they met, uh, not in clubs or pubs where they'd be observed, but they met in the branches of a fraternity uh, that is secret, that uh, Jack Straw tried to persuade all police forces in the country to declare membership of that fraternity and he was frustrated in that because several of them refused to uh, cooperate. But I believe we have to look at Operation Tiberius. I can see no reason why it can't be published with the names uh, redacted. But the names are all there. Names of serving policemen, names of the criminals. And the crimes are horrendous. The crimes are plotting crimes, organizing crimes, carrying out crimes, covering up crimes, and using people who were corrupted in all branches of government. And the report, it exists, it's there, it's deeply serious. And Alistair Morgan, and we can look at the, the other example of this, the most worrying example uh, otherwise of this, is the murder of <coughs> Stephen Lawrence and how the police certainly trying to protect the perpetrators of that dreadful murder. And the point I wish to make today is that we recognize that great problem that exists there. Does it still exist? I've raised it at the Home Affairs Committee with uh, Bernard Hogenhauer, and he generously admitted that the issue is one of great seriousness, and uh, uh, many people believe that the problem still exists. Uh, the report, uh, I say, was, it was linked to the Independent in those years ago. There's even a significant thing about the, the report, because it covers many parts of London, but not South London, where Daniel Morgan was murdered. And the, the suggestion is that there was some corruption in that leaking. But I would ask the, uh, the Home Secretary and Ministers to examine this report, find out if it's true, if the contemporary situation in the Met is one in which endemic corruption still flourishes.